here he comes to save the day. Okay, I can't sing. That's that's unforgivable maybe for some of you. I don't know. I don't care. All right, back to the old format for a second here, guys. So I just like I like getting the quality of my camera to really stand out a bit more. I, I missed it. I really missed it. Montreal Canadiens have assigned David Reinbacker fifth overall selection in last year's 2023 NHL entry draft to the Laval Rocket. And as per Kent Hughes, general manager of the Canadians, he has said he will remain with the Laval Rocket and will not join the Montreal Canadiens at any point for the remainder of this season. Reinbacker has left his team of Cloton HC from the Swiss League. This was his third season with them playing against men, playing against guys that are not necessarily small in stature like a lot of them can be in junior hockey. So David Reinbacker is officially coming over to the Montreal Canadiens in terms of the franchise itself as a whole and potentially going to get a chance to go on a, a playoff run with the Laval Rocket should they make it. They're still not quite locked into a playoff spot right now. And if David Reinbacker can really amalgamate himself to the North American game fairly quickly here, he could really help the Rocket in a chance to push for the playoffs and make it and actually, you know, play some really meaningful hockey. But the main thing for me that's exciting about Ryan Backer joining the Canadians now or the rocket is the fact that he'll be now with the Canadians development team first in Laval, of course, and they're really going to, I imagine, work on his game. And in fact, he's going to be practicing as per Kent Hughes with the Laval rocket all this week, and then potentially playing his first game with the rocket this weekend. It's exciting in the fact that, you know, there's enough time here to at least try to squeeze him in. I say squeeze him in, usually that means there isn't enough time because the Rocket really have to find a way to make the playoffs pretty quickly here or it's going to be over for them this season. But, I mean, you know, we can't wait on Lane Hudson to join and help the Laval Rocket. He probably will get a chance to get a look with the Canadians. It's sort of a thing they have with the NCAA for whatever reason, the college players that do get signed by the Canadians because Hudson isn't signed yet. Ryan Backer is. They're probably gonna we're probably gonna see Lane Hudson play with the Canadians first before we see Reinbacker, but that's perfectly okay. I mean, Reinbacker is their fifth overall selection. They're gonna do everything in their power to make sure that David develops properly. They're gonna make sure that every player develops properly. That's much more of a focus now, right? As we know with this new front office, the last couple of years with the Canadians, there's actually a development team in place, there's a skills team in place, there's even mental coaches in place to help these guys like they did with Caden Primo when they're not getting a, a bunch of starts. But the point is here, David Reinbacker is going to be joining the Le Laval Rocket at a time when it's hopefully going to just propel his game forward, give him a chance to work on his skills, give him a chance to get amalgamated, like I said, to the North American game, the North American ice size, and see where it takes him. Ryan Backer is still 19 years of age, turning 20, turning 20 this October. So he's still a very young defender, as we know. Logan Mayu has ha been having a pretty good season with the Laval Rocket. Justin Barron is there. Ryan Backer is going to be able to come in with little to no pressure. He's just going to get a chance to come in, develop, develop, develop until the end of this season, and then go into the off season. And then next season, we're likely going to see him start with the Laval Rocket. See if other players like Justin Barron or Logan Mayu try to battle for, you know, say Jonathan Kovacevic's roster spot or Jordan Harris's roster spot. You name the player. But this is a good opportunity, a good time to bring David Reinbacker over. We were all kind of expecting it anyway. Now it's actually going to be happening. So it's a good time. I'm excited to see how they're going to work with David here. And if you look at his stats with Cloton this season, I mean, one goal, 10 assists, that number remained the same basically the last couple of months. He had some injuries as well to his knee. So there was some lost development time this season, most likely with David Reinbacker, sure. But they still felt it was the best place for him to go develop was to continue in Switzerland. And now they feel like enough's enough. And he's coming over to Laval, likely hopefully going to make the AHL next year, make the Laval Rocket next year in the AHL and actually have, like Logan Mayu, a nice full season of development and really take a next step forward in his pro game. That's what we're hoping to see from David Reinbacker. But you know right now, the Laval Rocket ticket sales are likely going to bump up here as fans are going to want to go see David Reinbacker play. I think the expectations are going to be relatively low for him, especially right now while he's just practicing with the team and only going to get a handful of games unless, of course, the Laval Rocket make the playoffs and then Reinbacker will get a chance to play in a bunch more games, hopefully going on a run where it'll help the Canadians' prospects' development. That's what the goal is here also is trying to go win, of course, but to develop these players at a high level, at the highest level possible in the AHL with the Laval Rocket, as we know the Canadians are not going to get that chance this season. I actually had the chance to see David Reinbacker play his first competitive hockey 
with the Montreal Canadiens sweater on last September in Buffalo at the Prospects Challenge. And I got to say that initially, I, I told you guys this back then, but I was pretty impressed with David Reinbacker's composure. He had a head on a swivel. He was composed. He was making good reads out there, making relatively good plays. He's a big kid already at just 19 years old. He's got more frame to fill out. But I mean, the guy is six foot three, 209 pounds right now. And he did not look out of place out there back in September. And I just imagine that he's going to be a sponge. He's going to soak it all in. I think he's going to handle the pressure pretty well, even though I don't think there really is much pressure on him right now at all. It's all about development and just focusing in on how he can maximize his time with the Laval Rocket. But I noticed watching him up close, right near the glass, getting a chance to really get a good initial first impression of David Reinbacker. I don't want to say too soon, oh, they made the right selection and don't worry about it. He's going to be a gem. But that's what they believe. They do believe he's going to be a gem of a defenseman on the right side. They liked his physicality. They liked his size. They liked his defensive play. They liked his ability to move the puck out of the zone with a first pass. So not only that, some scouts, if you watch back the Canadians draft video, they liked his offensive potential as well. So they also like him on the power play. I think we're going to see him on the second power play unit in the future with the Montreal Canadiens. Lane Hudson quarterbacking the first power play unit. David Reinbacker, I don't know if he's going to be quarterbacking it, but he's certainly going to be on it. I think we're going to see him as a regular on the power play, maybe with Logan Mayu on there as well with his offensive punch. You know, some combination of Lane Hudson and Logan Mayu in the future on the power play, or Lane Hudson and David Reinbacker, whether on the power play or as a defensive pair. These are the kinds of pairings we have to look forward to with these guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. A quick little video here. Just wanted to talk about David's arrival now in Laval. And we'll probably have to wait till next season, most likely unless something crazy happens to see him in Montreal. But we're not concerned about that right now. What we're concerned about is him developing well, playing well at the Laval Rocket, maybe giving them a bit of a, a boost, a good push into the playoffs. And let's see what will happen from there. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hit like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Appreciate it as always, guys. Thank you. Talk soon.